Hey guys, it's Jaylon and Valerie. She's back, guys. She's back. Yay. It's been a couple of months. Yes. The last time we did an update was May. May. That was the last time we did one together. together. Yeah. 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 June and July were a wash. That's true. For me. I saw your updates, though. You you had great updates. Yeah. And we, I, was um, updating. I was updating. I just wasn't the we just stuff. Yeah. And I'm trying to think because... There were two updates, but this is our July update. So it had to have yes. been May and June that we didn't do together. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, you're right. Because you were traveling. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Yeah. I've lost track of time. Yeah, so April was the last time we filmed together. Gosh, that was so long ago. Wowza. Yeah. Long time. Wowza. Wowza long is right. Long time ago. You guys see the Ziggy here? He's putting on a show. <laughs> He's got his paws curled up mm, and his toes curled up they're up in the air cute he's so cute anyway <laughs> this is going to be our update for nightmare on panning street this is a fantastic ladies club project and it was created by both valerie and myself and as valerie mentioned we like i filmed my updates and posted them valerie of course wasn't here because she was traveling but she did also pick items and rolled new items in so some of the things that we're going to talk about we didn't talk about last time we were together and some we did some are still around <laughs> and some are still around <laughs> Well, I yeah. have, they, you have, I think that's the way the pan crumbles. <laughs> that is exactly right. That is exactly right. Some things yeah. just stick around for a longer time. And I think you have more rollouts than I do this time. I do. I have six. Okay. So why don't you start us off? Great. We may be a little well, rusty. We may be a little rusty. It's been a while since we've done this. Uh, it's just like riding a bike. You think? Well, speaking of things that have been around for a while, I finally hit gold. Oh, I was going to say, is that still around? This is for The Conjuring. Mm -hmm. And that was, uh, you don't know what possessed you to buy it. In general, these kind of body sprays are just not my thing. Mm -hmm. And my goal was to get here, and I did. I'm a little bit below it, actually. Yay. So, uh, I still have quite a ways to go on this guy, but, you know. Slowly but surely. Nice to have him out of this project, though. Yes. And you can roll it into the next project. And I probably will. Yes. Also, another guy that I struggle, struggle with is uh, hair products. This was for Sweeney Todd. Mm. This was a shine, a perfect shine, just a little oil that you put in your hair. I like it a lot. But, wow, it took me a long time to even get half of it done. <laughs> and I am right at the halfway point. I even tried to gift you a hair care item and you're like, no. And this is a mini. I mean, really. Mm -hmm. But it's rolling out of this project. That's good. I hit my usage goal on my Becca Lilac Geode. This was in for the movie Signs. Mm -hmm. And you were supposed to choose a circular product. It's a beautiful right? circular highlighter. Pen. Yeah, and this highlighter is beautiful. I had it in for 13 uses. I did do that. I had this in 50 Shades of Purple mm -hmm. and to hit pan in that project. You got a nice size or pan maybe now. It was, maybe it was 50 Maybe it was fifty uses. Anyway, mm -hmm. I hit pan in that project, and now my pan is wider just after 13 uses. And you can see where the product is cracked. Yeah. These guys are so fragile. They're so fragile. But this is a beautiful highlighter. I'm so happy I have it. I wish, I was going to say I wish I had a full size, but no, not really. This <laughs> mini is just fine. The mini is fine. Mini is just fine. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so I hit my usage goal on that, which is fabuloso. Woohoo! Fabuloso! Number four is for Children of the Corn. This is a food-themed item. Mm -hmm. And I finished my little hand cream from Burt's Bees nice. and Lavender and Honey. Nice. I love these. I love these. You know that. I love these little Burt Bees. You go through uh, hand lotions. cream way faster than I do. I go through hand cream pretty quick. Yeah, I'm pretty terrible quickly. about using it. I put it on every night on my hands mm. and then on, on my elbows. Oh, before bed? Before bed. 
I always forget that. Every night. So, gone. Woohoo! Dunzo. Yes. Dunzo. Number six is for Scream, something that makes you scream with delight. I finished this Elia lip oil. Mm -hmm. You can see where I scraped Scraped it out. out. This was in the color Tahiti. Tahiti. These are nice. Did you take out the stopper? Yep. Okay. Well, it's back in now. Oh, okay. But I did take out the stopper. Then I put it back in. Got it. I never do that. But that'll probably... I I know what you're going to say. When I put it in my empties bin, it just gets everywhere. I mean, it comes out, of, so I put the stopper back in when I'm done. Where do you where do you hold the stopper? Like I'm like I would never remember where I put it. Oh, I just have like a little paper towel, and I put it there. And then when I'm done with it, I put put it back in. How long? I usually have two or three stoppers out at once, so they're all on this little paper towel. <laughs> it's on my um, my window ledge, that oh bedroom God, window. That is so too funny. So it doesn't get knocked over or anything. They're just sitting there. I have these. So that's done. So they would knock it over. Wow. Right. Hmm. So that's done. That one's done, which is nice. great. And lastly, for, uh, what is this for? Oh, the Exorcism of Emily Rose, something that makes you levitate on cloud nine. That was my NARS Climax mascara. I love this mascara so much. I had it in for three months, and alas, those three months have passed. It's a good and mascara. I have good thing I have several backups. I only have two. I think I have three. I was really close to getting the duo from the anniversary sale, mm. but I'm hoping they have it again at the holidays, and then I'll I'll pick it up then. They probably will. Yeah. So that's done. That's number six. Those are my Woo-hoo. six empties. That's awesome. You got really some good. good ones out, like the ones that are have kind of been lingering for a while. Yeah. <laughs> Those no. first two have been around for a while. <laughs> that is no lie. <laughs> okay, I have three. Three rollouts. The first one is for Evil Dead, a tree or forest themed item. So I rolled in my MAC lipstick in Twig. This is the satin formula, and I rolled it in to finish. And this baby's done. It's scraping my lips, nice. so it's going bye bye. Love uh, the color. Nice. And did you say that you don't own this one? I do not own that one. It's so pretty. Anyway, it's not done. Maybe I should pick it up now during the lipstick days. Uh, do they have this? Formula? Oh, no, no, it's the Powder Kiss. The powder Kiss the, at Ulta. The, yeah. Just, at Ulta now. Um, maybe Mac will have something. You never know. On the actual lipstick day. Yeah. Anyway, it's done. Yay, me. Woohoo. Lipstick out. Yay, me. Woohoo. Next one is for the Exorcism of Emily Rose, an item that makes you levitate on cloud nine. So I rolled in this eyeshadow from Terra Moon's Cosmetics. It is light speed. Yeah, that's right. This was so pretty. I rolled it in for 10 uses. It's another one of those like yellow shades of eyeshadow that I'm not always gravitated towards or I don't gravitate towards. That's what I want to say. But this is gorgeous, yeah. especially like layered over another eyeshadow. It's really pretty. Stunning. Love, love, love. That's and, pretty. <clears throat> very pretty. And then my last product I can roll out is for the prompt Triangle, a never ending product. I chose a highlighter because they take forever to finish. This is by Benefit. It is Cookie. And I love this one. I rolled it in for 20 uses. I had 19 uses last month, so didn't I just have one more use to go. It's gorgeous. It's a beautiful highlighter. Do you own this one? I do not own Cookie. I don't own Cookie. It's really good. So those are my three rollouts. <laughs> oh, bless you. <laughs> wow. Wow. That came out of nowhere. All right. Ooh. So now for the items we are still working on. Would you like to go? Okay. I have for the Bride of Chucky bridal makeup, something that you would use for bridal makeup. Mm-hmm. I rolled in this Bare Minerals loose powder to finish. I'm making progress on it. I use it every day. 
I didn't realize that I had pulled the translucent, the, you know, the, um, what's it called? The glistening one, the shine, oh, the shimmery one. Okay. Which is fine. I mean, I, I'll go through it anyway. It's not my favorite thing, but I put it on actually under my foundation. So I get a little glow. Oh, and interesting. Okay. I, yeah. I like it like that. So I'm making progress in, in a couple more months, at least on this guy. So but under your liquid foundation? Uh-huh. I know some people do that. I could not do that because it would be a cakey mess on me. I mix, sometimes I mix it in with my foundation. What? Sometimes I'll mix it in, but I'll put it on underneath. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because I don't like it on top because then I look really glowy and I don't like looking like, like I've been electrified. <laughs> <laughs> If you were electrified, you'd be like smoking. Well, that's true. <laughs> well, I don't. I don't want to look like. Oh, what? Whatever. Like you have glitter all over your fucking face. Like I have glitter all over my face. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of glitter all over, I got it all over my shirt. <laughs> okay. Moving on. The next one for Silence of the Lambs, which is a lotion. It rubs a lotion really on said, its skin. I I knew you were going to say that. I rolled this in in April, I think, and I haven't touched it. Oh, um, wow. I, I've i been traveling a lot, and I've been using other lotions mm -hmm. because I like to pair this with the perfume, and the mm. perfume that I have is a giant bottle, and I didn't really want to travel with a giant bottle. But now I'm going on a, on a trip, and I'm going to take this and the bottle and use it on, the, on a trip later this month. So I will hopefully have this out by the time we update in August. Yeah, you should. That won't take you long. Yeah, it won't take me long to get through that. Paranormal activity is something that uh, never disappears. That is an under eye powder for me. Mm. <laughs> they never disappear. So I rolled in this Bare Minerals, another Bare Minerals product. This is the under eye brightening powder. Uh -huh. For 20 uses, I'm at 10 of 20. Okay. It's okay. Well, I'm I surprised. I don't really like this one. I like the Pat McGrath much better. Than yeah, this that's one. a good one. And you have to go very, you know, use very little powder. Otherwise, it totally cakes. Yeah, it. and so, you have, like, I think I have the Pat McGrath, but I have the light, which is really translucent, and it's almost like a white powder, but you have a medium shade. The medium, yeah. I may have to get the medium for, like, summertime. I'd like to try it for summer, but... I'm surprised you didn't roll in a concealer for that prompt. I'm, I, I have a concealer in A to Z and I'm still working on it. I mean, I don't even see any, any gap gaping or any holes or anything. I'm not rolling in any other concealer <laughs> to any other project because I think I will still have that concealer going in 2024. I will not have finished it. That was a big fat. I'm, no. I'm a one concealer girl. <laughs> I'm a one concealer girl. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. Ugh. Okay. I don't even put concealers in for like 10 uses because I don't want to open them because <laughs> I don't know when I'll get back to them. <laughs> it takes me forever to go through a concealer. Mm. Wow. 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 Okay, for 28 days later, this is to roll in the product to use 28 times. <laughs> I uh, actually, you gifted me this beautiful oh, yeah. dossier. Mm -hmm. um, what's it called? Floral grapefruit. And I've used it uh, five of 28. <laughs> Same reason, because <laughs> I didn't travel with it. Yeah. So uh, now it'll be go, go time on this guy. Mm -hmm. August. So I, I, nice. I anticipate this will be out next month. I would okay, agree. the big, the big disappointment, the big zero zilch. Okay, you didn't touch it. In for it follows something you can't get rid of. Well, you know, if you don't use it, <laughs> you're not going to get rid of it. So true. Oh, you didn't touch it. I haven't touched it. And I wow. can't use travel as an excuse because this is a mini. I didn't take it with me. And I just I, I just forget about it. I never use it. So I've got to put it somewhere 
that I don't forget. I know. Sometimes I those minis, sometimes the minis fall to the bottom of your bag and you forget about it. Yeah. Or sometimes they don't make it into your bag. <laughs> <laughs> that is a problem. So, there, so there's that. So I'm at zero of 13. Okay. That's embarrassing. Well, you'll get there. <laughs> Luckily, it's a pretty color. It is a pretty color. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. You know, it it's bound. Pretty. It looks pretty on you. Have you never worn it? <laughs> never worn it. <laughs> You've never worn bound? No. Wow. I haven't. Okay. I swatched it wow. on my hand. It looked okay, but I've never put it on my lippies. Okay. Wow. I'm surprised. But you tried that, but you tried that formula in other colors. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so these two I rolled in last month, but I have very little or no progress on them. Mm -hmm. uh, for Misery, something you're a big fan. I'm, I'm a big fan of these hourglass palettes. Ooh, palettes. <laughs> wow. A lot of reflection. A lot of reflection. This is the ghost, no, ambient lighting ghost quad, yeah. This is a blush quad, and I have it in to use each pan five times. I've used, I haven't used them at all okay. yet. But again, this will this will start now because I've been mm -hmm. really focused on another blush. Yep. So I have zero uses on that. That's for the <clears throat> movie Misery, which is such a great movie. That's so good. I love that movie. It holds so up. Good. Yep. Mm -hmm. And last one for me. Of what I'm still working on, right? Is Baba Duke something with a weird name or is in the deep recesses of your drawer? Well, that's the one I chose, the deep resource recesses of my drawer. And I chose this Zoeva highlighting palette. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah right? Didn't mm -hmm. know I didn't even remember I had it. <laughs> to use each pan five times, same as the hourglass. Mm-hmm. And I've used this pen once. <laughs> and that's it. Now, is that bottom right shade, is that a bronzer? Wait, hold They're on. all... They're all highlighters? It's all highlighters. How are we going to use that darker shade? I'll probably use it as a bronzer. Okay. Is it shimmery? Okay, yeah, I see it. Yep. It's a little shimmery. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm just curious. So, five times each, and I'll get to it this coming month. That's for Babadook. 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 And I'll... Zoe was kind of a weird group, too, so. That's true. It's okay. Like, what does it mean? So, those are my, those are my six. Uh, no, sorry. Those are the, what is it, eight? Seven. Seven that I'm working on. Okay, cool. Seven. Ziggy, what are you doing? Seven. Ziggy. All right, fine. All right. I am working on 10. Although, I think I actually accidentally have one extra product in here. That happened to you last time. How do I have 12 things I'm working on? Whatever. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I don't know. Whatever. I mean, I've already picked three items, so it's going in, but I'm going to have to finish a couple of these and then not roll in new products. The first is for the prompt paranormal activity, an item that never seems to disappear. I rolled in this Too Faced Love Flush Baby Love Blush for 20 uses. I'm up to 17. So here is how this guy's looking. I'm kind of excited because over here, a little bit of pan is peeking oh, through. Oh yeah, I see, yeah, I see that. A little that. bitty pan. And I've expanded Ooh. the pan. I'm close to clearing out this corner. Yeah. And this is what I'm wearing today. So three uses to go. Hopefully I can get, get that corner cleared out. I do want to eventually finish this in the next year or so. That'd be nice. Right. For 28 days later, use a product of your choice 28 times. Oh, this is a struggle. This House Labs Optic Intensity Eco Liner in the shade Magenta Shimmer. I'm not sure how I feel about this. I don't really like it. 
Is it not creamy? Does it skip? It's, it, it, so it's creamy. It does not really go in my waterline very well. And it's not very impactful. So it just barely shows up. Like I put it on just before we started filming. And you, I mean, you can barely tell that it's there. Mm. So it may end up getting the boot. But I am currently only at seven uses. So I have a couple of other ideas of how to use it. Like I have one of those cream colored liners so i think i'm gonna try that and then put the magenta yeah. one on top we'll see how that goes but couldn't you use it as a lip liner maybe maybe i mean i guess i could here i'm getting a use out of it right now there you go you're one one use closer I guess that's the best way to use it is as a lip liner. <laughs> oh. All right. Next one is for the Curse of La Llorona, a ghostly product, white in color or packaging. So I rolled in this MAC eyeshadow in Blanc type and I rolled it in for 50 uses. I'm currently at 43. So, you know, just seven to go. I'll have it done in a little, uh, like a week or so ish. It's really nice eyeshadow to kind of cancel out the your lid before you go in with eyeshadows so i really right. do like it for that purpose that story of la llorona scared the shit out of me when i was a kid oh i don't think i knew this story i mean i watched the movie oh. it, we were we were told that all the time in that story and it scared really? the crap out of that would scare me yeah. too as a kid scary uh -huh. scary thanks. thanks thanks mom and dad thanks, thanks mom <laughs> All right, next prompt is Children of the Corn, a food-related item. So I rolled in the Nest Seville Orange Perfume Oil. I am like, just to here. <laughs> I have a ways to go. It smells nice. It doesn't last very long, though, which is the sucky thing. But I feel like if I put this in an, I don't know, I may try putting this in an atomizer. I haven't yet. Yeah. We'll see. Well, an oil. Oils are tough. Yeah. I find I oils really tough to use. Sometimes I will mix them in with, like, like the thing that I'm using with my hair. Sometimes I'll mix it in. Mm -hmm. They get a little scent in my hair. I think I have an unscented Josie Marin body lotion that I was going to put a couple of drops of this mm -hmm. in. Yeah. To scent it up. But I haven't started using that yet, so... I don't know. I always dread, you know, when you get those like little goodie bags and there's perfume in there and one of them's a perfume oil. I'm like, oh, they take forever. No. They take forever. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> <sighs> well, this one I think I picked as a, as a perk when this first came out. Oh, uh, yeah. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? It's a pretty scent. It's it is nice pretty. Scent, this doesn't last very long. Okay, next prompt is Misery, a product you're a big fan of. So I rolled in the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip. This is in the shade Bloom. Hey, they're on sale at Ulta. The cream version is. The cream version, yes. Yeah. So I rolled this in for 20 uses, or no, 30. I was not going to roll it in to finish. I saw that in your in your update. When you rolled it in, you were like, Valerie would say, finish it. Yep. And I'm not gonna. Not gonna finish There's it. the color. So I rolled it in for 30 uses. I'm up to 14. So about halfway there. Yeah. Next prompt is Leprechaun, a green product or an item that brings you luck. So I rolled in the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in Apple Lime. This smells so good. I rolled this in to finish. This is not the smallest size, but it's the next smallest. It's still got eight grams in here. So it's still a decent amount of product. I am I think I'm close to hitting jar pan. I love that one. It's I think so that's good. one of my I think that's actually my favorite. It's really good. I think they don't make really they don't good. make this one anymore, do they? I don't think so. Why? This one's so good. Why, Why all my favorite things get discontinued? Stuck. Stupid.
good. All right, next one is The Grudge, an item you wish you hadn't purchased. So I rolled in this Anastasia Beverly Hills blush trio. And not that I don't mind, I mean, I like this blush. It's just, you know, they're tiny pans. It's hard to get one brush into one spot. Although I will say, I did use this shade a couple of times when I was on my, my vacation. And I was able to make it work, you know, by just using, getting a brush in there. So I rolled this in for 10 uses. I'm up to three. Those were at all, I mean, um, like TJ Maxx, Max. a long time. They were. You could get them. I kept seeing the, cop, the There's well, it was three pans, but it was called Pool Party. That's not Pool Party, is it? Uh, like Pink Passion. Pink Passion, yeah. And this is all three of them mixed together. But I really I like I really like the shade rose. It's really pretty. Yeah. That one's rose. That's pretty pink. That's rose. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, I like that one. I like that one a lot. I like it. I like it. So I seven like uses to go. Seven uses to go. Next prompt is the thing, an item you're not sure how to use. Okay. I rolled in Babes and Charms by Mac. It's their Pro Long Wear Paint Pot. I've used, I whirled it in for 10 uses. I've used it once. The one time I used this, it did not work out for me. I don't know if it was too emollient. Mm. I don't know, but it did not look pretty on my eyes. So, but I put it over a primer and I think it may, that may have been the problem. Yeah. Maybe, maybe you just need to put it on without any yeah. primer. Mm-hmm. Without any priming. Without any priming. So we're going to try it again, of course. But yeah, just one use so far. I did it on like a no yeah. makeup day when I was at the beach. And it didn't Experimenting. work. Experimenting. Experimenting, yeah. yes. All right, next prompt is signs an item with circular packaging or pan. So I rolled in this eyeshadow from the Glam Shop. This is, wait, is that right? Is, that, is it the Glam? Where is the brand? Yeah, the Glam, glam Shop. Sorry, I had I had a dog underfoot. Sorry. Dog underfoot. <laughs> anyway, this is virtual pink. And I rolled this in for 10 uses. I am up to eight. So just one use to go. This is pretty. I remember the swatch, yes. I remember the swatch you gave last time. <sighs> looks like water from here. It looks like ice, pink ice or something. And then there's that shift on the side. It's gorgeous. Yeah. So two uses to go on that one. I've really been enjoying it. Yeah. All right. Then I have, what's that? I said very good. Very good. For the prompt, oh, I just spit everywhere. <laughs> For the prompt reanimator, a serum, I rolled in this timeless CoQ10 serum and I'm, I rolled this into finish. I didn't even check to see where I am on this. Oops. I think I'm like here. So uh, okay. still have a ways to go. It's gonna take me a couple months to finish this. I'll mark it whenever I'm done. But you love it. I do love that serum quite a bit. I think I have this and one more bottle. I bought a bunch at one time whenever Timeless was having a sale. All right, two more products. The Mist, a spray. So I rolled in this Illamasqua Hydra setting spray. Have you used yours? Did you like it? I loved it. I loved it. I really it. do like this. And I actually like the sprayer too. I think people would think it's probably too aggressive, but I'm like, bring it on. I don't care. I really yeah, do enjoy this. I love this. that spray. And again, I, I know that I, I used it while I was on my beach trip. And I'm about a, th a third, a little over a third of the way done about here. So I'm hoping I'll have this finished by the next update. That'll be the goal. Is that made in Italy? Let's see. Does it say? I don't know what where that's made. Paris. Paris. No, I'm sorry. Made in the UK. Oh. Yeah, made in the UK. But they've got an address here that's in Paris, so I'm not sure. But it's made in the, it says made in the UK. Well, I wonder if it's Illamasqua then. 
I don't know. What would it be if it was French? Do they have a Q? Yeah. Ilamasca. Yeah. yeah, it would be a K. Well, maybe it's made in the in the UK, but the company's French. Maybe, yeah. Because I heard I hear it pronounced Ilamasca and Ilamasqua. Okay, I've only ever heard it Ilamasca. So I don't know oh, which no. is cool. Yeah, we could probably Google okay. it. Okay, moving on. Moving on. <laughs> Next prompt and last prompt is it something that reminds you of a clown. So I went with red and this is a MAC, I think matte lipstick. Yeah, matte lipstick in the shade A Dozen Melroses. It's what I'm wearing right now. And I rolled this in for, again, 10 uses. I'm up to four. Whoop, whoop. There's my swatch. Six to go. I may reapply a couple of times tonight <laughs> since I'm wearing it. <laughs> It's pretty nice. color. You've got good things and hold up your swatch arm again. Look how pretty that is. All these pinks. Pinks and shiny things. Mm -hmm. pretty. 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 All right. Now for things you're rolling in. What you got? Okay, I have six dudes rolling in. Six. They're all dudes. Dudes? All dudes. Okay. For Night of the Living Dead, something that wakes up your skin in the morning. Mm -hmm. I love this Tower 28 facial spray. Okay. I've never tried it. I'm already using it. Actually, it's you can see that I'm here, but I've actually poured some into a travel container for my upcoming trip. Got it. So I, I'm a little bit further up. I'm about halfway through this, but mm -hmm. I will finish this. I love this stuff. I have used so many facial sprays and I don't know what it is about this one that I love so much. So how do you use it? Every morning I spray it on my face. Before you do your skincare? When I wake up, first thing I do is put eye drops in my eye and spray this on my face. Hmm. And I That's never would do that. Do with my routine it has not it just kind of wakes me up. Hmm. Okay. I love it. I love it. So that's what I'm rolling in to finish, and that won't be a problem because I use it every morning. Awesome. Okay, for Hellraiser, a facial exfoliant, <laughs> I am rolling in my Good Molecules Pineapple Exfoliating Powder. Oh, nice. I had this in a project, and, well, I didn't quite get to my goal, but I got close. Yeah. So I'm going to put this in for 13 uses. This is one of those powders you mix it in with whatever cleanser you're using, and it adds exfoliating properties to your got it cleanser. okay and yeah i love i love this it's really good and there's a ton in here i mean that's huge a ton. it's huge so i'm gonna make a little bit more progress 13 uses on that for hellraiser okay i'd love to finish that sometime before i retire <laughs> before you retire from work or from wearing makeup um, from work <laughs> we'll see about that for dr jekyll and mr hyde this is a double-ended product i'm rolling in this tart lipstick hmm. this has a lipstick on one end and a gloss on the other the color is sass like sassy but without the y and this is That's almost pretty. new i have used some of it it's a beautiful color pretty color yeah yeah I bought these on QVC. There was a like a Tarte beginner's kit, <laughs> and it came with an eyeshadow palette and two of these. I panned one completely, and this is the only one left. It's it's quite old, but it still smells really good. And there's the color. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful color. Mm -hmm. I've um now whenever you bought the beginner kit, were you a Tarte beginner? I was. It was a tart beginner. And then there's mm. the gloss. That's pretty. Yeah. So 13 uses. It still, sm like I said, it still smells really good. Yep. Hmm. I've had this for a long time. It's probably one of the oldest lippies in my collection. Collection. So that's for Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Okay. Uh, okay, so then for Leprechaun, something that's green or brings you good luck, I chose green, and I chose the Biosance um, 
cleanser. It's a jelly cleanser. I'm taking mm-hmm. this on travel next week. Uh, so this should be should not be a problem to finish. This is in my hundred colorful empties actually. So and that's what the squalene and elderberry, right? Squalene, squalene and elderberry, 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 <laughs> elderberry. <laughs> I was like in a loop there. Elderberry, elderberry, elderberry. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. I need I yes. need more lippy. For Texas Chainsaw Massacre, something, a product that you can eat. I'm going with you what you did because you you had a brilliant idea to put bite lipstick. They always claim that they're so natural that you could eat them. This was one of four that I bought in a collection mm-hmm. two Christmases ago. I'm trying to finish them. I remember I'm those. Gonna, I'm, I'm rolling this in to finish. This is the color Pink Pavlova. Ooh. And I want to show you there's no, that's it. Okay. That's all that's in there. Mm-hmm. It's like a traditional mini. Yeah. But all right. But the bite mini, I always feel like they go faster. Yeah, because they're super creamy. Oh, it's so, pretty. A little bit pink for right now, but I live in Florida. I can get away with it for a couple more months. So, so that'll nice. be hopefully finished. I'd like to finish that mm-hmm. and get another V out. And the last new product is a brand new product to me. This is for the movie Event Horizon. And this is something that has a magnetic closure. And I'm rolling in this beautiful Kiko blush that I just purchased last month. This is, they call this their untamed blush. That's pretty. And they don't have colors. Uh, This is number six. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they don't have colors on any of their products. At least on the packaging, either. but they do have colors on their website. That's what I don't yeah, understand. And where did you buy that blush? I bought it in Italy. Italy. In oh, that's Bologna. so pretty. I went to a, yeah, it's a beautiful color. I went to a uh, Kiko Milano store. I'd never been to one and decided to stop in and that there began the trouble, right? All the all the Kiko. And then you got the the, you got all the Kiko. But this this blush, I have a cup. I think I have another Kiko blush. Their blushes are so beautiful. I think all their powder products are really nice. Yeah, like, I agree. The stuff that I have, I really uh, like. Yeah, and this guy, they didn't have any on the shelves. I had to ask for. For them to go digging, and they said, "Oh, this is like their most popular color." They, it's so gorgeous. I want, I want one. <laughs> so it's beautiful, and I'm happy to have it. So 13 uses on this for Event Horizon, and yeah, magnetic, magnetic, magnetic closure, closure. Yeah. magnetic loveliness. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. So those are my six new things. Woohoo! Six new things. Yes. yes. All right, I have three, which I don't need. I only really only need one, but I'm rolling in three. So for the first one I have is hereditary, something a relative used to use or a product that is nostalgic. I decided to go with the latter, and what I'm rolling in is this guy. Oh. And it's nostalgic because Valerie and I were together whenever we I bought this, and she has one of these too because I scavenged mm-hmm. until I found one for her. This is the Stila Convertible Color Lip and Cheek Quad. And it says this is quad number one, National Treasures. It has four cream blushes in here. And let's see, the shades are, let me do it this way, um, Ilium, Petunia, Patina, and Gerbera. So I'm going to roll, I'm going to use each of these five times. These are pretty. I did the same thing with that palette for another project to use each one five times. I took it with me on my first long trip this summer and loved them. Look at how pretty those are. They're gorgeous. And I would combine like the darker one I'd combine with the more nude and I had the best time with that palette. It was it was really fun. I'm curious about and that. And I have palette. another one. I have two. I have two you as have well. Two? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we we each I found two different I I I got oh, you one for you one for me. Yeah. 
Yeah, but that's the one I had, and I loved it. You're going to love that. I can't it's wait. so beautiful. I can't wait. And they go on like butter. Butter! <laughs> they go on like butter. Butter! <laughs> We're so freaking goofy. Butter! Butter. All right, next prompt is get out, a product you want to get out of your collection. Get out! This one. Yes. Want to finish it. So I'm rolling You're doing in. Well on that too. Yeah. I mean, it's looking good. I'm going to roll this yeah. shade in here, vanilla, and I want to use half of the pan. I think you did that for one of your prompts in this project. I, this shade here, I will use as an inner corner because it is a like shimmery white shade. I'll put it up here. So it's very, very brightening. So I, and I'm really close to hitting pan on the one I'm currently using for inner corner. So I'm going to then focus on this guy to use half of the pan. I love that palette. I have that palette too. And I really enjoy it. I haven't used I've, it in a long time, but. I've enjoyed it. I really have. I mean, I'm working on this shade right now in a project. And then I have mm -hmm. this palette in my clue project just to use, you know, a shade here and there outside of cosmic yeah. so and i've been using this these mats as mixers actually for my pan that palette this year it's worked out really well yeah to like franken. didn't you use some of that to franken yeah that's what i went when i said mixing it was uh, oh, to franken yeah yeah, yeah. 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 so yeah. The, the ones that look like they're half used or like you know right. this one here i think i've used this one and this one and this one yeah and this guy down here to Franken. So it's looking so, pretty good. It is. But I have two pans finished. I'd like to get, you know, a couple of more of these mats done. Yeah. Sometimes. Nice. Soon. Yep. So we're going to roll that one into use half. And then the last prompt I got was the Exorcist. Something that makes your head spin because it's so gorgeous. So I'm working on finishing this lipstick. This is the Bite Beauty and Moose Bouche lipstick in Sake. And this one's probably a little bit dark for right now, but I have some other lipsticks I can mix it. I can mix with it to use. I'm rolling it in for ten uses. It's such a pretty color. Oh. This one may need to get duped at the lip lab. It may come with me. Yeah. yeah. I may Beautiful. go to Vegas. Yes, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. A lipstick on my teeth. No. So, what do you think you'll have done before the next update? Oh, I'll have this lotion done. Mm -hmm. See, oh, now it's settled. That's how much is in there. So, oh, yeah. I can finish. Uh, I will have my 28 uses on the dossier perfume. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to work hard to go ahead and finish this Biosense cleanser. Yeah. Even when I'm just rolling it in now, I'd like to see if I can finish it in a month. I think I can. I'm working on a full-size cleanser now, but I think I'm pretty close to finishing it. And then I'll just hit that one. Uh, I don't know if I'll have anything else. I mean, I'd love to hit my goal on this or the Zoeva palette, but I honestly don't know if that will happen. Or yeah. Not. Yeah. Oh, I will, I will have hit my goal on my under eye powder. I'm I'm halfway through this goal. I'm at 10 of 20, so yeah. I'll have hit my, so I'll have maybe three or four yep. rolling out next month. Yep. Yep. I'm thinking I'll have four. It's funny. I, I think I, I have one use left on this guy, so I'll, or two, I think two uses left on this. So I'll have that one roll, rolled out. I'll have my okay. uses on this because I just have seven, I think, left on that. I really want to get my uses on this. Well, I think I only have, what, three left? Yeah, three left on this. So that'll roll out, and then the Illamasqua. I think those are my four. I think everything else will still be in here. Sorry, I've got something in my throat. It's Give all me good. a second. Uh, I, I'm really close to having to reset my wheel because I will have gone through all the prompts. I think I have six or seven left, and that's yep. it to reset the, the what's it called the wheel wheel of fortune wheel of names yeah i have three wheel. left 
So I think if I yep. finish those four, I will have to reset for sure. Yep. Next yep. month. Yep. Yep. That's cool. That's cool. Exciting. All right, my been, friend. You've been through the prompts once already, and so this will be a second time with the new prompts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's great. Same for me. Yeah. Yay. Yay. You have, like, two more months left, and then it, the project will end. August and September, and then October. And the finale. Last month. It's crazy. And next Maybe. month may be the last month that we roll in new prompts. Because you don't want to roll it in in September to just right. have only a Maybe month so. to fi finish things. Wow. Time flies, man. Time flies. It sure does. It's hard to believe we've been doing this for two years. It'll be two mm -hmm. years in October that we started this project. Yep. People have really enjoyed it. It's great, been great to see the community get behind it. And, yeah. And love watching the updates on YouTube, but also on, on Instagram. A lot mm -hmm. of people are doing it on Instagram, so it's, it's great. Love it. So, it's been fun. Yeah, and we're not 100% sure if we're going to bring it back. Yeah, we'll we see. haven't really talked about it. No, we haven't talked about it yet. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about it and get back to you guys. Hold, oh, please. Hold, oh, please. <laughs> All right. That is going to be it for Valerie and I. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you are doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and Valerie and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Oh my gosh. I'm so nervous. I haven't done this in so long. That's what people say. Oh, I'm out of practice. It's a real thing though. You come back and you're like, what the hell was I doing before? How did I introduce I this thing? It. Yeah. Your nail polish matches your shirt. It does. And your eyes. And your eyes. <gasps> Ooh, you're all matchy matchy. I am matchy matchy today. The um this color on the outer corner is not really showing up, at least on my screen. It may show up when filming, but so cutie. I mean <laughs> He's putting on a show. He's like, you've been gone for a week. I'm putting on a show this time. Okay. Bye.